Yeah, Chuck, this may be a long way to get somewhere, but okay. uh, you've told me this, and we got to get it down on tape. I mean, right. I, exactly. So for, for future generations, so your kids can <laughs> see, maybe Diane watches, I'm not sure. Maybe. But, okay, but I don't know. Here it is. Uh, basically, the closing of the Sacramento Union, that, there was the Sacramento Bee. Right. You worked at the Sacramento Union. I would be a little overly dramatic. Or number two. Or number two. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't exist anymore. Right. But, but explain how the closing of the Sacramento Union changed the history of television. Oh, it absolutely did. Um, I worked there. I was a sports writer there, sports assistant sports editor um, before it closed. And I, I worked with some great people there. We had a lot of talent. And one of the guys on our staff was Mike Fleiss, who covered Cal. He was our Cal beat writer. Um, big guy, big gregarious guy. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we closed and we actually had some layoffs before closing. And uh, he was out of a job and didn't know what he was going to do. And, uh, you know, moved around a little bit. And he decided to move down to L.A. and try to get into TV somehow, you know. And he is the man who ultimately created the bachelor and changed TV uh, reality TV boom he ushered that in and uh, I don't know if people will remember there, there was a special on Fox just a crazy special called uh, who wants to marry a millionaire and he was the creator of that too uh, I, I don't know why this I probably should I should have just kept my mouth shut I remember that Darva Conger I think was yes that. <laughs> how do you remember that I, I, I don't want to remember that wow yeah I don't know I, I, I was behind the camera I just should have just kept my mouth shut no but, that's okay. great okay <laughs> but yeah Mike became you know he went from being this lowly paid sports writer who covered Cal and uh, loved the 49ers and uh to a millionaire living somewhere in Malibu right now and, uh, you know, rolling in the bucks. Right. But, but he's, when you go down to whatever those junk, what are junkets or whatever those... Pre- Don't call them junk. But yeah. <laughs> Is a junket a bad word or... No, it's, a, it's, a, it's okay. You know, what's, what, what's the, pro, the, uh, the press tour? What was it? It's called the uh, Television Critics Association Press Tour. Okay. Excellent. All right. And there, there's no free food or drink in it, any of this oh, stuff? Oh, never. Never. Okay. Excellent. Okay. You just it, call it the death march for cocktails. <laughs> right. Okay. You've gotten some uh, behind the scenes bachelor tours yes yes fairly good i guess you could say i mean i have you know i've reconnected with mike a couple times down at parties down in la and uh i've even been to the bachelor house you know up in the hills the one you see on tv all the time and and took us on a tour there and saw the entryway where they come in and hand out the roses and the we saw the hot tubs and the make-out couches, and I just I had to use the hand sanitizer. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. I, and, and you, you didn't go anywhere near the hot tub? No. Okay. You're Stayed smart. out of that thing. Yeah, okay, actually, There's I, no way. Yeah, okay, excellent. There's no way. Right, but, but maybe that's it. Why is that show popular? I think it's, it's a fairy tale. Okay. You know? And I like think I don't want to make it gender-specific, spe- but... Uh, Women love it. I, I remember when it first came on uh, in its first year, I was wondering the same thing. Why is this so popular? And I decided to go watch it with a group of women from work. They invited me, you know, like, oh, we're going to sit down and watch this show. And it became very obvious right away that this was like a sporting event for women. Okay. Like we treat the Super Bowl or whatever. They sat around the TV, they were cheering and they were jeering and, and putting down the guys and, you know, and cheering for certain people. And it's just like they were chatting the whole time. And like I said, it became very obvious. This was like a sporting event right. for women. Right. They just ate it up. And uh, maybe I'm not a genius, but we could wrap it up with Mike Fleiss's <laughs> sports background. He figured this out. How to make a sport? And they, <laughs> there you I mean, go. Maybe you didn't even think about this. I did not. Yeah, okay, and put in one of your articles. You're brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> well, end on that note, Mike Fleiss figured out how to make a sporting event for women. That's the bachelor. Absolutely. And absolutely. How many? How many seasons have there been? Too many. Oh my God! They're like they're like on their twentieth 
edition, okay. 19th, 20th edition. And, yeah, and when that when that cast comes out, you'll have to make it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, I will. Okay. Well, there, <laughs> I got to get on <laughs> it right, right away. away. And, just, and just look and see if there's anybody from Walnut Creek, Lafayette. Right. Okay, you got right. it. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, we'll wrap up on that, and we'll uh, stay tuned for more. All right. Thank you.